What's up guys, today I'm gonna to go through how to do this car badge animation effect. So here I have my raw video clip and the first thing I'm going to do is add a mark on the timeline where I want the badge to end the animation. And I'm just going to press M on the keyboard and that creates this little marker here. So now I'm going to duplicate the video clip holding Alt on my keyboard and then just clicking and dragging. And then I'm going to create a freeze frame on this marker on the top video clip. So I'm going to hold down shift and press H. That will create this hold frame. So now I'm going to drag the hold frame so that it starts at the beginning of the video clip and ends right there on the marker. So next step is to add a draw mask effect to this freeze frame. So I'm gonna go over to my effects, go down to masks and add the draw mask effect onto this. And then I'm going to cut around the different sections on the badge. So I'm going to zoom in so that I can get a nice accurate mask. There's a slight shadow on this badge. So I'm going to include that into the mask. So I'm just going to click and add points. So once I've added the points on the mask, I'm just going to click and drag to select all of these points. And then I'm going to right click on one of them and click smooth. So this will smooth out the mask. Now I'm going to copy and paste the freeze frame again. And on this layer, what I'm going to do is turn off the draw mask and add another one. And for this one, I'm going to cut out the circle portion of the badge. and then select the points, right click and click smooth. So I'm going to copy and paste that layer again, turn off this mask and add another draw mask. And for this one, I'm going to cut out the right hand wing. And before I do that, I'm just going to rename, rename these video clips so that I know what is what, otherwise it's going to get quite confusing. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to cut out the right hand side wing And, and for this last one, I'm just going to cut around the bits that I missed on the other masks. So now I have four layers of the logo. I'm going to order these in what order I want to animate them on the screen. So I want the, the main B logo to animate on the screen first, and then the wings and the rest of the logo will be animated on last. So I'm going to put that underneath so that we won't see it until the end. So now I need to keyframe these so that they animate onto the screen. And to do that, what I'm going to do is go to the last frame on the image, select the transform tool over here, hit the keyframe button so that the end position will be in the right place, right at the end. And then I'm going to go back to the beginning or to the first frame and scale this right down. So now this logo pops onto the screen. And then I'm gonna move on to the wings. I'm gonna to go to the last frame, hit the keyframe button, go to the beginning, going to add a rotation so that these wings fold out and look like the wings are kind of opening. And then I'm going to put the scale all the way down to zero. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the left wing and add a similar animation to what I did on the right wing. So I'm going to rotate it the other way and put the scale all the way down to zero. And then I'm going to animate the rest of the logo by just giving that a zoom out. Okay, so now that I have the basic animation done, what we can do is right click on each of the images, go to show video animation, and then you have the keyframes on here, and we can mess with the timing of the animation. So the rest of the logo I want to pop up at the end of the animation. So I'm just gonna bring the first keyframe a bit further forward 
So now it pops out at the end and then also you can just move it on the screen until you're happy with the finished version. Okay, so now we have the badge animating onto the screen, but we need to get rid of the badge that's already on the car. So to do that, what I'm going to do is add a mask to the bottom video clip, add the draw mask at the point where the badge appears on the car. And then I'm just going to do a loose mask around the badge away from the shadow as well. And then I'm going to select that, smooth all the points out, and then I'm going to click invert mask. And I'm just going to make sure that mask is over the badge throughout the whole video clip. If you did have more movement, then you'd need to keyframe the mask so that it moves to cover the badge. And also this effect is going to be super hard if you have lots of re reflections on the paint. With this one, luckily, it's a pretty plain background, so it's quite an easy effect to do. And then I'm also going to turn the feather up on the mask so that we can blend the layers together once I copy them. And then I'm going to copy and paste this layer of video clip. And I'm going to go to the scale and on this bottom video clip, I'm going to make the scale smaller until I start noticing different areas of the video that I don't want to use. I'm going to copy and paste it again. And on this one, I'm actually going to get rid of the mask, increase the size of the video and just move it over so that we have this until I've filled in the black patch with the, the white color of the video clip. Okay, so now finally, I just have to copy and paste this top video clip, trim it to the end of my video animation and get rid of that draw mask. So now we should just be left with the animation. So a few final steps now, what I'm going to do is select the different sections of my logo, right click and go to new compound clip. And the last thing I'm going to do is just add some motion blur over this so that the animation is a lot smoother. I'm going to go to my titles tab, go down to motion blur. I'm just going to drag on some moderate motion blur. And then the final thing I'm going to do is track this to the car and change the anchor point so that it lines up with the badge at the end. And yeah, there we go. That is the finished effect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.